Hey everyone, welcome to this session of pair of linear equations. In previous sessions, we have seen how to solve pair of linear equations using graphical method. It has one more name, geometrical method. Now we will learn how to solve pair of linear equations using algebraic method. The benefit of this method is we don't have to draw any graphs but still we get more accurate values for x and y. We have three methods to solve pair of linear equations. Number one, elimination method. Number two, substitution method. Number three, cross multiplication method. You can use any of these methods whichever is suitable when asked to solve by algebraic method. These two we will learn in the next sessions but now we will learn elimination method and this method is most commonly used method in algebraic method of solving pair of linear equations. So for understanding elimination method of solving pair of linear equations, let's consider an example. Let's take two linear equations x plus y equals to 4 and x minus y equals to 2. In this method, we have to eliminate x terms from both equations to get the values of y or we have to eliminate y terms from both equations to get the value of x. That means we have to eliminate one variable from both the equations to get the values of the other variable. Therefore it is called as elimination method. This we can do by either adding the two equations or by subtracting the two equations. Before adding or subtracting the two equations, you need to decide which term you want to eliminate. If you want to eliminate x terms, you should have same constant with the variable x. Like for example, there is nothing with x over here, so we can say there is 1 with the x. Here also there is nothing, so I can say 1 with the x. So in this case, we have same constants that is 1 with the variable x. Similarly, if you want to eliminate y, you should have same constant with the variable y. Now you must be thinking, what if the terms you have decided to eliminate don't have the same constants with them. Like in this example, if I have decided to eliminate x, I should have same constants with them. But in this case, I am having 2 in this equation and I am having nothing over here. That means I am having 1. So how to make their constants equal? Let's see. Let's take this as equation 1 and this as equation 2. We want constant 2 with the term x in equation 1. So we will multiply the equation 1 by 2. So therefore, this 2 is multiplied with x, we get 2x. 2 is also multiplied with y, so that we get 2y. And 2 is multiplied by 6, we get 12. Now in this equation, we got constant with variable as 2, which is same as this. Now we can solve these two equations to eliminate x terms. Similarly, if I want to eliminate y, I don't have constant 3 in this equation. In such case, I will multiply equation 1 by 3. Now I'll get 3 into x, 3x plus 3 into y, 3y equals to 3 into 6, 18. Now in this equation, I got the constant 3 with the variable y which is same as this constant. Now I can solve these two equations to eliminate y terms. Let's come back to our topic. Now let's start with adding the two equations x plus y equals to 4. Let's take this as equation number 1 and x minus y equals to 2. That is equation number 2. We are adding these two equations. So first equation is added to second equation. Here you can see both x are positive so they are added to get 2x. x plus x 2x. And y terms are opposite in sign. So therefore they get cancelled and we get nothing that is 0 equals to 4 and 2 are added since they are positive 4 plus 2 is 6 so we got 2x equals to 6 that means x is 3 I got the value of x now I can put this in either of the equation 1 or equation 2 so that I can get the value of y let's say I have decided equation 1 to put value of x to get the value of y so in this equation in place of x I'll put 3 y is as it is equals to 4. From this we understand that value of y has to be 1 so that right hand side becomes 4. So therefore value of y is 1. Now let's solve them using subtraction. 
So we have two equations x plus y equals to 4 equation number 1 and x minus y equals to 2 that is equation number 2. We are subtracting equation number 2 from equation number 1. So here this minus is applied to each and every term of the second equation. So this negative goes to term x so this becomes negative x and there is already a negative sign over here for y so negative applied on this negative negative becomes positive and this negative sign also applied on 2 so this becomes negative 2 these two terms x terms are opposite in sign so they are cancelled so we get 0 now the two terms of y are positive so they are added to become 2y equals to 4 minus 2 becomes 2 so 2y is 2 so y is 1 I got the value of y you can put this value in any of the equations to get the value of x so let's say I have selected equation number 1 so y is 1 so in place of y I'll put 1 x I don't know but y is 1 equals to 4 now this x has to be 3 so that it is added with 1 to get the right hand side as 4 so from this we get value of x as 3 so here is the value for x so from both the methods whether it is addition or subtraction we got the same values for x and y that is x is 3 and y is 1 here you need to remember some points like you can either follow addition or subtraction don't follow both in one problem but how will you decide you want to add or subtract and that depends on which term you want to eliminate like in this case of addition we have eliminated y because they had opposite sign and this case of subtraction we have eliminated x because they had same sign from this we understand that if the terms which we have decided to eliminate if they have opposite sign that is one is positive and other is negative then you add the equations to eliminate those terms if they have same sign that is both are positive or both are negative then subtract the equations to eliminate the terms whether it is addition or subtraction we have seen that we are going to get the same values for x and y in this session you have learnt If you like the video, please hit the like button. Do share it with your friends and post your comments. You can watch the entire syllabus of CBSC Math on our YouTube channel. Do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update. Thank you for watching.